Well guys, seeing that I'm in a holster making mood and I uh, by no means mean to bore you with these things so but anyway I am going to make a kydex holster and I'm going to get a little creative just for the hell of it because I've got nothing better to do over the next couple of days uh, I am redoing the house I've got the living room painted and complete the hallway is painted and complete I still have two bedrooms and a kitchen that I want to do uh, and then the kitchen is going to be a little bit of a nightmare because I'm redoing the counters and everything in the kitchen uh, New sinks and everything even though we already did all that um, But at that point <coughs> uh, We're redoing it and Anyway It's in there well, Again Unfortunately Because of the temperature and trying to keep the kydex and fiber, uh, carbon fiber uh, warm enough to mold and without having you guys have a lot of dead air time just watching nothing while I'm bringing the product to the press uh, I just put the camera on so you can watch the press do nothing <laughs> ah! so anyway it's in there now what I did this time was I took two, ple two pieces, two pieces of some gray Kydex, and then I took a piece of uh, where the hell do I have anymore here or not? I took a piece of the carbon fiber um, that I had, a uh, six by six piece. So I put a piece of 6x6 six six down, I put the gun down, then I put the piece of black carbon fiber down, and then I put the other piece of gray down. Then I pressed. So what I plan on trying here is, once it's all done and it's got its shape, I am going to get the Dremel out, as somebody suggested, and uh, Matt was, and I'm going to uh, cut out a couple of small designs in the gray um, hence I like that word letting the black carbon fiber show through so if everything molds properly I shouldn't have a problem with that however between the thickness of the carbon fiber which is a little bit thicker than the kydex um, and all and all the kydex being in there uh, I don't know if the press is going to be able to give me enough definition to have it work. So that's where we're at. So I'm going to turn the camera off, let this sit for a few minutes, and then I'll turn it on when I go to open it. All right, you guys are going to see what I see. So let's see what we come up with here. Actually, I was just on the phone for a few minutes, and I forgot all about this, to be honest with you. Um, because, again, we're, we're going to be moving south um, within, well, between September and March of, uh, September of this year, March of 2016. So, uh, I wanted to talk to some agents about property. Well, you don't just want to put your house on the market because you know at one time we were putting this house on a market we we're thinking about putting it on a market so I called the real estate agent uh, the agent sent the company rather and it was a pretty well-known company for this area and they sent out an agent and uh, the agent is sitting here telling me how her son is a flipper um, and then they start telling me that my house is not worth what I thought it was worth you know now, it doesn't take a rocket scientist to know that if you have a house a couple of blocks from the beach uh, in a nice shoreline community, um, and we have quite a bit of acreage when everybody else only has a quarter of an acre, 
uh, that the house is worth a lot more than what she was saying it was worth. You can get on the internet and see that it's worth a lot more. Uh, what, it was no, she was basically trying to buy the house for themselves so they can flip it. You know, and I, I, you read it. It was an open book. Um, anyway, here we are. So what do we got so far? Okay, there seems to be enough detail there to work. And there's more detail underneath, which is good. And the bottom has fantastic detail. So this is going to work out just fine. But anyway, um, I decided that I was going to call up an agent and talk as if I wanted to buy a piece of property in my location. Just to get an idea what some of the property is worth. Because we do have, even though it's all one, it's actually two separate pieces of property. Um, we had to do it that way. Uh, we actually bought the second piece of property because of the boys. We had four, and we found out that the town that I'm in has an ordinance to where you can only have three pets, domestic pets, per household or per parcel, uh, meaning per lot, per piece of property. Well, there was a vacant lot, um right next door which is up in the back there where I put that hole and I put up all that fence um, so we bought that lot so that we can keep our boys uh, and we ended up getting another one so it was another another boy so it was a good thing that we did because we're not going to give up our boys that's all there is to it um, so anyway I called up this agent and I was talking to her and I'm at, you know, well, we're thinking about retiring and buying a piece of property in, in, in the town that we're in. And um, she doesn't know that we were in this town. And I was just gonna, trying to get an idea, a ballpark idea, as to what some of this property goes for around here. She goes, well, a quarter of an acre um, sold for $150,000. Um, and that was about eight blocks from us. Uh, further away from the water. Um, now we have, um, oh God, two and three quarter acre? I don't even know, to be honest with you. But that's just this lot. Then we got the other lot. So anyway, you know, I didn't tell her that we had property. I said, well, I'm looking for like an acre or something, you know? She goes, well, you're going to spend about $300,000 for an acre. I said, oh, she asked if you can even find them. She says, they're hard to find. Oh, okay, well, you know, keep me in touch, blah, 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 you know. I gave her a phone number, you know, that's ours, but it's one that we don't, we never answer it. You know, the answering machine gets it all the time, 100% of the time. And uh, if there's anybody on there worth calling back, when I answer it, I'll call them back. But anyway, um, that's where we're at. So, <clears throat> uh... I was just talking to the wife, do we really want to sell the house or do we want to sell the properties because a developer would probably be interested in buying this property uh, and we would make a lot more money on it. Um, so what we would have to do though is think about doing one or two things going to a developer or subdividing it ourselves um, at the town that will bring our taxes up a little bit but if we subdivide it into we'll say three building lots um, we can very easily pick up a half a million dollars on this property uh, you know, but that also means in the interim of all that, until that happens, we may be paying taxes on a half a million dollars worth of properties. So we really have to think it out to see what we want to do here. So anyway, so much for that. Let me get this out of the way and I'm going to work with this. So the, the plan here is that this is going to be the holster. I am going to cut out some type of a design or two, small designs in the gray, letting the, whoop, letting the carbon fiber show through, uh, and then trimming it down naturally so it'll fit the 
FN. Well, it's going to fit the FN because that's what I used as the as the mold. And then at that point, uh, just trim it down so it'll fit my body comfortably, uh, making it as small as possible, but yet big enough to be comfortable. So that's where I'm at. So I'm going to shut down, and I am going to get this out of the way. Well, this is where we're at so far. Now, I'm not done cleaning it up yet. Again, the designs, am I crazy about it? Not really, but you know what I'm going to do next time? Because again, these are holsters I'm wearing. Most of the time, you're not going to see it anyway. Um, but, I decided the next time, I'm going to design it on the computer. Because I have the vinyl cutter. Once I've designed it on the computer, I can cut it in vinyl once I decide the design I want. So I can actually put this, like for instance that, I can put that on the computer, draw whatever design I feel comfortable with, make any changes I want to make, oh with this, okay, I'm sorry, I can take this, put it on the computer. I can draw any design that I want, make changes, whatever I want to do with it, to get it to the way I feel that I'm finally satisfied with it. Cut it out in vinyl. Place the vinyl on here, because it'll stick to this. Then, all I have to do is cut it out. And then I'm all done. So, so it's a better way of doing it than to trying to cut something out on something that you're not sure on how it's going to look once you get it cut with all the little curves and the bends and everything else. So, but like I say, this is going to be for the FN, FNX9 and FNS9. It'll fit them both. Um, I just got to wait for the black Chicago screws to come in. And then, uh, at that point, the rest of them, because I'm going to make one for all the guns. Well, probably for the ones that I carry most, which is about seven or eight of them. Um, and I'll make one for those for now, and uh, and the other ones I'll do on the computer, like I said. And then, then I could be a little bit easier with the design, a little bit freer with the design, and get a little bit more creative at the same time. Um, it's too bad I couldn't just cut it out before I bent it. Now that's another option, because then I can just cut it out um, using the cutter on the uh, on the computer. Uh, instead of putting it onto vinyl. I don't know. Anyway, that's where we're at. All right, there we go. Doesn't look too, too bad. All right. And it's not sticking to me, so I don't have to worry about that. Uh, I put the silver screws in there for now just because I had them. And uh, I don't want to take a chance of losing any parts. I may even just keep them there, I don't know. I got the black ones coming. It's not a big deal to change them out. It takes a few minutes. You know, they're a little bit of a pain in the ass, but other than that, it's not too bad. And uh, I just got to loosen them up a hair, but it locks in nice. Once it's on my body, I think it'll come off a little bit easier. Right up here it seems to be hitting a little bit, so I can probably just work that down a little bit. But again, if I loosen a couple of these just a hair and then lock them, um, that'll loosen up the top, which will take that away. And then I'm going to cut the bottom of this off like I did the other one so I can get my hand up in there so I get a better grip on it because right now I can't get a good grip on it. I won't bore you with any more of this one. Catch you later. All right, I just cut that little piece off there. I just got to clean it up a little bit with a little sanding light sanding but let's see here let's uh oh, there we go hey now i got my hand in there yeah ah hey now it comes out the way it's supposed to yeah good deal all right all done